Happy Wednesday, everyone. Miss Jill here for another Bible story and STEM challenge. And so today's story, we're going to um, skip a little ahead in Genesis. Um, this is the story of Jake, or one a part of Jacob's story. Um, first, got to get to Jacob. So remember last week, Isaac and Rebecca, um, the story of Rebecca's hospitality being a sign that she um, was the correct match for Isaac. And so the Isaac and Rebecca end up getting married. And then they had twin boys and Esau was the older um boy and Jacob was the younger boy and they were really different um, people. Um, they looked different. They liked different things. Um, Jacob was probably, we'll say his was his mother's favorite and Esau was more um, Isaac's favorite um, because they each did things with those two sons respectively. So Rebecca spent a lot of time with Isaac or with Jacob rather and Esau spent a lot of time with Isaac. And so um, as it turns out, Jacob was able to convince his brother Esau to give him his birthright because Esau was starving and he was just so hungry. And Jacob's like, well, I'll cook you some stew and I can give you some stew if you'll let me have your birthright. And Esau traded it away. And then when um, Isaac was dying, Rebecca sent Jacob in and he took um Esau's blessing as well. And so that's where we that's where we're picking up the story. So Jacob was really scared because he was worried about how mad Esau was going to be. And so the story is from we're going to we're using our deep blue storybook Bible. Um, if you have your own Bible and you want to follow along, just head to chapter or the book of Genesis. So the very first book of the Bible still it's chapter 28 verses 10 through 22. And so Jacob was scared. So he ran away to his uncle's house. After a day of walking, Jacob was sleepy. He lay his head on a rock and fell fast asleep. He dreamt about God. God said, Jacob, I am always with you. You will be a blessing. Jacob woke up and knew that God was always with him. And so you can see if you've ever heard of Jacob's ladder, this is why. Um, because the story, Jacob dreamed um, that their angels and saints, everyone was walking up the ladder. And so it was in his dreams, he kind of got a glimpse of heaven, a glimpse of God. And so today's STEM challenge, I bet you can guess it from um, what the story was. Today's STEM challenge is to build a ladder using whatever materials you have on hand. If you have any craft sticks, that would work pretty well. But feel free to pull just stuff out of the recycle bin. Cardboard is a great um, resource. You could also use, if you need to use straws, um, if you've got craft sticks, if you pipe cleaners, just newspaper, whatever you have on hand, you can use to make a pretty cool ladder, I think. Um, as always, I would love to see it. So um, please send pictures my way if you would be comfortable doing so. Um, we're going to close in prayer like we usually do. Um, before I do, just let me remind you, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Gracious God, thank you for giving us the Bible to help us learn about you and about how we should live our lives. Please help us to use the Bible stories and what we know about you to guide our thoughts and actions. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great Wednesday.